Your human spirit is willing to form a synergy with the Holy Spirit. But the problem is your flesh is what? It's weak. So it means the onus or the responsibility is on you and to channel the flesh to obey the quickening the spirit is what is trying to send. Sometimes you know you are tired but you know you ought to pray. My question is who will win that day? If you cannot weaken the flesh in prayer to pray, even in the days the, the flesh is weak, in the day temptation comes, the flesh will also be strong to, over, to not overcome temptation. One of the ways the flesh becomes weakened is by what? Prayer. By prayer. By constant prayer, by constant watching, by constant fasting, the body, the flesh becomes weak. So when you come before temptation, they'll be wondering, ah, this guy know they fall. The problem is not that this guy know they fall. The problem is that the flesh is dead. And how did it become dead? You kept weakening it. You kept denying it of nutrients. And before you know, it goes. If you watch well, every time you watch, it leads you into what? Prayer. So. The man that does not fall into temptation is a man that watches and what? Prays. Secondly, a man that sees the temptation ahead of time before it comes is prepared for the temptation, isn't it? You will be expecting temptation to come so that you will what? Bash the devil. How? You received it because what? You were watching and you were what? Praying. Again, I will stand upon my watch and I will see what the Lord will say. Anytime you stay as a watchman, your watching duty must lead you to what? Prayer. And by prayer, you will begin to distill the level of the temptation or you will begin to receive wisdom and not overcome the temptation. A lot of individuals fall into the trap of the enemy because they refuse to stay in the place of what? Watching and praying. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Mm. Listen, every believer every believer listen to me every believer must be first of all a watchman the the responsibility of being a watchman you will first of all be able to watch for your own self at least you are watching for your own self first of all before you now begin to spread your tentacles a bit further so if you are a christian if you are a believer and you still fall prey of temptation something is wrong with your word and something is wrong with your word praying like i shared with us i don't know if you of us have listened to that teaching while men slept anytime you give room to sleep i can assure you the devil is planning will plan to come and plant something around you and that's it when he plants it you'll be amazed for now that you will wake up with something strange you see this thing is not news again and it's something that is happening to a lot of people around that i've seen and i've heard you slept and you woke up all of a sudden something is not fine with your body and when you go to the clinic they said one growth which growth don't just come something something planted it except you think it just it just came like that it doesn't happen like that tonight I want us to pray but you see listen remember he said the spirit is willing so i can tell you one thing for sure spirit the spirit enjoys communication with god so this night the spirit is willing what i mean is your spirit is willing but my question is your flesh and come if your flesh is weak tell your flesh now tonight we pray with. tell your flesh flesh body moses we pray tonight and you will not be tired and for adventure you get tired there is strength in the spirit i will pray I receive grace to pray. I receive grace to carry prayer measures. I receive grace to carry prayer power. I will pray and I will not stop praying here. I will pray and I will carry it home. <laughs> so when I get home, I'll pray. On the streets, I will pray. <laughs> In the bus, I will pray. Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> 